Episode three of Falcon and Winter Soldier down in the books. Another solid effort. We're now midway through the series. It's another good episode, except I'm, I actually like it so far the best out of the three episodes we've seen so far of Falcon and Winter Soldier because the first one sort of just set things up. Understanding where the characters were, things started going in motion in the second one, and now they are in motion, which was, I think, for me, the most exciting part. So here are three quick highlights from this third episode. The first is seeing Baron Zemo orchestrate his own escape from prison. Very exciting to see. It really has shades of what he did in Civil War, of what he's able to orchestrate on sort of a broader scale, really putting those pieces in motion, knowing what to do, when, how, with whom. Really excellent to see that nicely executed. Number two is seeing in that club in Madripoor the Winter Soldier essentially going Winter Soldiery. Yeah, he really hasn't been, he's been really fairly subdued, held back from fighting. Nice to see him. I, I, for me, it was really nice to see him just like in action, just taking the various, uh, you know, would-be opponents against him. And the final one is Baron Zemo again. You know, it's interesting. We've seen him, you know, Civil War, he was orchestrating things. We saw him orchestrate his own prison ex escape in this episode. But in Civil War, he was described as a special forces op uh, soldier. We've never seen him do anything soldiery. It was really neat to see when they were in the shipping containers on Madripoor. Nice to see him actually engaging in combat, in battle. And we can see how as a soldier, he's actually effective, which was really neat to see. Okay, three... Uh, th Three quick things as far as speculation for the final episodes. One, Power Broker. Obviously, Power Broker, we, we kind of get a, an interesting, like, sort of a, a taste, an appetizer for the end of last episode. We get a lot. Power Broker seems to dominate this episode. One of my favorite things of this episode was to see everybody talking about the Power Broker is watching. Uh, hold on, Eli. Is also on one of the walls we see just as they're entering Madripoor is the power broker is watching. So it was really interesting to see. So who is the power broker? We don't know. Sharon Carter seems to be what we're looking at as setting up, especially as she gets in her car after the shipping container incident. She clearly is well healed. She has money. It could very well be her. If we know that the, the power broker is watching and when, Shel when Selby gets killed, immediately the bounty goes up. She's killing certain people really fascinating it could eventually ultimately be her uh, number two is to see what happens with zemo at the very end of the episode we have one of the door melage approaching the white wolf right bucky what it like she, she wants zemo we want zemo right really fascinating i would be fascinating to see by the end of this series that they ultimately are able to take zemo back to wakanda for the killing of king t'chaka i think that would and and i'm sure there would be a comment somewhere along the lines of he at least would be securely imprisoned as opposed to just somewhere in Europe. They would be able to make sure he actually is in prison. And that would be an interesting setup for Black Panther 2, having him there as well as uh, that CIA agent that we've seen in both Civil War and Black Panther. Uh, number three is to see what happens like with with uh, John Walker, right? He's clearly more to the, to borrow Star Wars, dark side right we're seeing him go more to the dark side i don't think we've really in like in episode two we got to see a little bit more of his personality which was nice here he's gone a little bit dark i wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the series he somehow takes the super soldier serum and becomes a sort of an an anti-hero sort of like a, a bad super soldier and i think that would be why at the very outset of the episode sure he's on the hunt for these folks the flag smashers but i think ultimately what he wants is is a bit of that serum. So those are three highlights for me and three pieces of speculation following episode three of Falcon and Winter Soldier. I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching.